For the posterior teeth, place it interproximal, and if that bend is pointing posterior for posterior teeth, it is the correct working end. Take a look if it was the wrong end. That elbow actually points anteriorly, which would indicate the incorrect end. This is correct. I'm going to have Candy turn a little bit more towards me. I'm going to use my finger to retract as I can see with my eyes and not needing the mirror to aid me in exploring these teeth here. I'm going to start distally and wrap around, making sure that I am extending adequately interproximally. Oftentimes, people stop right at that inter right at that contact, but you need to go under the contact to assess whether or not there are calculus deposits. Withdraw, quarter turn, come across the facial. I'm using a very, very light stroke. My thumb is popped out in a modified C pen grasp, and I'm using my thumb and my pointer finger to roll to access those line angles, extending interproximal under the contact, not stopping until I'm under and then lifting up, hitting that contact. Going to pull out, start again at the get ready zone, watch my fingers roll, 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 adapt, adapt, adapt under the contact, and I hit the contact, I'm done. Relax my grasp, pull out. Come across the facial, and I'm rolling, 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 rolling. A lot of times, clinicians aren't adapting enough. That is quite a generous roll to get across that line angle. All the way down. Watch how far I extend interproximal to make sure I'm getting underneath that contact and up. 